All right, we have Lewis Smolka joining us, who returns to action May 30th, this coming Saturday, to face Casey Kenny in a, a fascinating fight at 135 pounds. Lewis, how are you, man? I'm great, Mike. How are you? I'm doing great. Enjoying some family time on this long weekend. Get you know, get that out of the way before you head to Vegas and get ready for fight week. Yep, I am happy, man. Life is good right now. I am stoked to have a fight, honestly. We are in a very strange time, as you know, Lewis, and you had a fight previously booked and then it was canceled due to COVID-19 concerns for that Columbus card. And now you have a short notice fight set for Saturday night in Las Vegas. How have you been dealing with the swings of this whole thing from fight to no fight to all of a sudden new fight in a week? Um, this is my 4K, bro. I love the chaos. This is this is what I'm about, you know, um, I love the short notice fights. I love um, just getting in there, just banging, you know, it's that the Hawaii mentality, you know, we just go, we just scrap. It's super fun. Like this is my forte, bro. This is, this is, this is my, this, this is what I love right now. This is what I love. So would you prefer, so, so you prefer this over like a full training camp and preparing for one guy? Yes. Yes. Straight up. I love this. This is, this is what I'm about. So you, let's just do this all the time then. Quarantine. Yeah, be yeah I'm down. Do this I'm down. All the time. Yeah, I'm down. Let's go. Let's get it. This is the new norm. I'm, I'm having more fun like this than anything. How have you been handling, you know, the, the, the training and preparation aspect amid the restrictions, quarantine, all that stuff? Has that been difficult for you at all? Uh, a little bit. You know, um, we've got our team at Team Wayama. Um, we've been having to keep it real small, real small groups. You know, like I go and hit the bag by myself for like one on one with coach, like real real small real small groups but you know we're making it work you know we've got a really solid group of guys out there real real good group of guys um all fully committed constantly in shape ready to go and you know so th th this is honestly this benefits us man we're always down we're always ready out at, at Oyama's. so you know it's like th this is our forte bro we're we're in dog this is this is this is what we do so after the davy grant fight got canceled or postponed whatever whatever you want to call it did you have to change anything up at all like reset or did you just kind of keep the momentum going in case that phone rang and something popped up last minute i'm gonna be 100 percent honest with you i geeked out on like every i'm sorry babe, that was too loud i geeked out on like every conspiracy theory for like a, like a week straight i was like oh my god the world's ending to like oh no the illuminati's coming like dude i looked at everything dude i was looking at everything for a little while i was like what the fuck is this you know what is going on and um so like i freaked out for like a week and then i was like all right so the world's not ended yet so i guess i gotta get back to work and i've just been training as best i can you know getting the runs in getting um getting whatever training i can in you know i got a nice little calisthenic area outside of my uh, apartment complex and i've been using that so um going to the gym when i can you know um and just you know, when people can meet me there and it's just it, it's been it's been kind of fun honestly i have fun with it it's like i'm not i don't like i don't like rigor detail and structure i'm not that person i like the chaos i like doing what i feel like doing when i feel like doing it i'm not a i don't crave structure i actually like kind of like an anti-structure so i i've been i i feel like i've adapted fairly well so you are gonna fight casey kenny on may 30th who was a top 15 guy heading into his last fight with murad duwalish willie lost that fight but you know, he's right outside the rankings more than likely. Is this matchup, I guess, outside of the chaos that you love so much, is this better for you in terms of the risk reward factor than Davey was? Maybe. Um, he, he does have a winning record. He's got like a lot of accolades. Uh, he's got a lot of hype behind him. Um, he's got a lot of accomplishments. Uh, he might be a little well known at the moment. Davy Grant was coming off like a long layoff. I think he fought like once in like the past like three or four years or something. Like, and so I feel like it could maybe be a step. Yeah, yeah, I could say that. Yeah, you could say that. It's it, it's more of like a name, you know, higher up in the rankings. Um, yeah, yeah. I, this might have this might have shook out for me kind of nicely. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We just realized this right here. This is this is good for you. I know you're not a guy who watches like a ton of fights, so it, it's maybe not something you were, you really pay attention to that much. Like I, I watch the fights when I can, and like I pay attention, but like I don't I don't put too much stock in like worrying about any one person, you know. Like I just kind of look and see like what the trends are, see what like um like what people are doing, what seeing what I'm seeing over and over again, you know. 
I actually spoke with Casey yesterday and there's a, obviously a bunch of similarities between you guys. Obviously you're sa- part of the same management team. You guys yeah. even share some sponsors. Your manager's probably very happy to get a bunch of his guys on this card competing, but you know, how have your uh, shared sponsors reacted to this booking? Did Have you talked to any of them at all? Yeah, it's, it's pretty like um, routine for us. You know, all the sponsors are just doing what they can as best they can for each individual. Um, help us as much as they can and may the best man win. That's all they can really do, you know? Casey is a, you know, a go forward pedal to the metal type guy. And when you fight a guy like that, like you said, it's almost better just to dive right into it without spending eight to 10 weeks preparing for the fight. So looking at it from an X's and O's standpoint, you got to be excited for this one. Chaos aside, just the, the fact that you're fighting a guy that's going to come right after you and, and vice versa, right? Yeah, no, that's that's what I'm about. Um, Let's go in the middle of the octagon. Let's draw the line in the sound. Let's see who wins it. Let's see who can, let's see who can hold it down, you know? Um, I think it's going to be me. He thinks it's going to be him, and we're going to find out. Have you watched any of his fights? Like, have you seen him compete during, a, during any of the cards at all? Yeah, yeah. I got to give him props, man. That dude goes out there no matter what, you know? Um, he beat, what's his face? Uh, Manny Bermuda, I think. Uh, yeah, Bermuda. Bermuda, yeah, Bermuda was outweighed him by like 20 pounds. And like, he still won. I was like, yo, dude, I got to give that dude props, man. Like, he's he's a he's a, he's a a gamer, dude. I, I got to give him his props. That's that's pretty rugged. This is, I mean, this is right up your alley, but it's still going to feel a little bit different. And I think he agrees with, the two, his, with this all, too, because his mentality heading into the fight is, listen, it's all business. I don't hate Lewis, but I'm coming to kick his ass on May 30th. Are you approaching it the same way? Respect is there, but, you know, it all goes out the window once Bruce Buffer does his thing and that cage door locks. Yeah, no, I mean, I respect the dude. I like him. I think it's a tough fight, but, you know, this is this is the pinnacle of the sport. This is the best of the best. Like, and, like, it's business. We're, we're all trying to make money, and it's a crazy time, and we can't really be past enough work right now, you know? To my knowledge, um, this is the longest stretch between fights you've had in like four years or something like that. It's not like you've been out for a year plus, but just kind of looking up and down the, the the roster and the resume, you know, you've taken like four months off here, five months off here. But I think this is the longest stretch you've had since like 2015, 2016. Are you just kind of hankering to get back in there at this point and just sort of let those juices flow right now? Or is the timing perfect for you? Um. I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, it's all the same to me. I mean, I train so hard every day. Like it's all the same to me, dude. It doesn't matter whether it's today, it's tomorrow, a week, a month, a year. I'm happy to get back in there. Cause honestly, I just want to get paid. I just want to make, um, I'm, I need to get my daughter a house pretty soon. She's getting old, man. She can't live in an apartment anymore. We need like a yard for her to play in and stuff. So I'm, I'm just, I'm down to make money right now. I'm down to keep fighting. There you go. So if all of this sort of goes well next Saturday, you know, you see a guy like Kevin Holland, who's also on this card. He just fought a little over a week ago and he's bouncing right back fighting on this card. Do you want to do something similar if the opportunity presents itself? Just get right back in two or three weeks if you can. Yeah, I mean, I know Courtney. Uh, what is it? Yeah, I think Courtney Casey just got a new fight, too. Right. Yep. She just got. Yeah, dude. I mean, if they're down to do it like that and I can get out of this without getting hurt too badly hurt, I'm down. I'm down to go again in like a month or like whatever, depending. You know what I mean? Like we'll work out the, the details, but I'm down to go again. How do you see this fight all going down next Saturday uh, against Casey Kenny? How do you get the job done and turn your your win over Ryan McDonald into a winning streak here? Uh, I think it's going to be a wild fight. I think there's like, um, it's just going to be like chaos everywhere. That's that's what I think. It's going to be scrambles. It's just going to be striking in the clinch, standing, boxing, kicking, everything. Just trying, just going tooth and nail at each other. And when the dust settles, we'll see who wins. There you go. And uh, last thing for me, I, I spoke with Ricky Simone last week. He said that, He's been working with with the team over at Oyama. Did you get a chance to work with Ricky ahead of his fight with Ray Borg? Um, not ahead of the Ray Borg fight, no. Um, but he comes in like a lot. Like, uh, I don't know. I think he was kind of in the same boat as us with like just stuff getting canceled, getting put back in, canceled, pull out again. You know. So um, 
I've been I've worked with him on and off a lot, like over the past maybe like two three years. Um, but I did not work with him specifically for the reboard fight. There you go. It's definitely a nice addition to have to the camp. But I know you're hanging out with your family. It's Memorial Day weekend, so I'm going to let you go, man. Appreciate the time very much. All the best to you for this chaotic fight week and in the fight itself on Saturday. I'm looking forward to it very much, man. Good catching up with you. All right, Mike. Thank you for having me on. Take care, man.